sold the condo on Morton Street. Hi, congratulations. Oh, that's great. Who bought it? The most adorable newlyweds. Oh, please. They were hideous. They were kissing every 10 seconds, holding hands, finishing each other's sentences with that nauseating baby talk. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> Well, if it's any consolation, they probably won't last. They met on the internet. What's wrong with that, other than your creepy, I see dead people voice? <laughs> I just happen to believe that people should fall in love the old-fashioned way, face-to-face, -face, drunk in a bar as God intended. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm confused. I thought the internet was for buying shoes while you were pretending to work. <laughs> You mean people meet people online? Yeah, yeah. You, you put your photo and a profile on a site, and then people email you and ask you out. Yeah, here, take a look. Uh, it sounds like a wonderfully efficient way for perverts around the world to check you out. Hey, a pervert's just an ex-boyfriend you haven't met yet. <laughs> the whole thing sounds so dirty. It's like saying you met someone under a pier. <laughs> oh, my friend Janet met her husband on ppdate.net. It's super clean. PP date doesn't sound clean to me. Uh, oh, PP stands for purity pledge. It's a great place for people that are not interested in having sex before they get married to meet. You know, and get married and finally have some sex. Uh, I'm gonna sign up. I am too, but, but not on that purity one. That goes without saying. <laughs> Well, girls, let me tell you, there are some very, very attractive men in this site. Those men are gay. You're on Men Seeking Men section. <laughs> there, those are the guys you get to choose from. Oy, those men are hideous. Well, the preferred term is heterosexual. <laughs> Look at this guy's stomach. His abs are so tight I can bounce a peso off them. You do realize you're still in the gay section. What can I say? I like pretty more than practical. Okay, guys, how does this sound? Single female, 30-something, average height, pretty funny, seeks man. <laughs> Too sexy? How should I describe myself? Hey, why don't you write your ad the way that you write ads for apartments? Remember how you described that tiny studio with the rat problem as cozy and pet friendly? <laughs> I mean, not that I'm saying that you're vermin infested. Oh, just, no, 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 I, I get it, I get it, I get it. You, you made your point, and by some fluke, it's actually a good one. All right, I am going to write Super Chloe, who is the enhanced version of me. She's the person I'd be if I kept all my New Year's resolutions. Was it one of your resolutions to run a marathon? Yes, it was. And Super Chloe did. <laughs> In under three hours. Oh my God, what? Look at this. It's my ex-husband, Jeffrey. His picture is on this dating side, but nobody has answered to his profile. Well, maybe he just posted it. No, maybe it's because he's, like, all bloated and sad-looking. <laughs> maybe he's finding it as hard as I am to move on. Maybe he's reconsidering the breakup. Maybe he's not gay anymore. Lola, he's on a gay website. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna send Jeffrey an email just to cheer him up. The only email that will cheer him up will be one from a hot gay guy. So, if you can run a marathon, I can be a hot gay guy? <laughs> you know what, I think I'm gonna write myself like Audrey Hepburn. You know, very classy, very princess-like. Why don't you just save the time and write high maintenance instead? <laughs> Is this too much? Dentist by day, salsa instructor by night. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's good. How does this sound? Brainy arm candy equally comfortable in the boardroom and the bedroom. Well, who's that for? Me. But you're married. I know, but I want to play too. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to post it. 
Come on, aren't you a little bit curious as to how many hits you would get? A little. <laughs> I'll bet you that Super Chloe gets more hits than Arm Candy Ava. In your dreams, white girl. <laughs> I'm just gonna warn you that Super Chloe is into extreme sports. Guys dig that. Not as much as they dig a diehard Red Sox fan with an awesome rack. Well, Super Chloe is a former lingerie model. <laughs> Who owns a liquor store? Candy Ava likes any sexual position that allows both of us to watch Sports Center. Damn, you're good. You know, these gay singles, they ask for too many details. How should I describe my penis? Okay, I'm gonna walk outside, and when I come back in, I want you to be talking about shoes. Should I be circumcised? No. <laughs> Johnny Depp's skin looked amazing. Well, Oprah always has great lighting. Oh, and he was so charming. You know, he's not technically married. No? Hey, Ava. I knew you had an awesome rack, but I didn't know you were a Red Sox fan. <laughs> what? How did you know that? Take a look. It's an ad for some dating site. It popped up when I was playing poker. Oh, my God. I'm the featured profile. Why, you? Super Chloe can scratch the back of her neck with her toes. <laughs> I've got to get this profile deleted before anyone else sees it. Hey, go Red Sox. Oh. oh, that stupid website. They promised they'd take my profile off. How long is it going to take? Well, they might be busy with all the super Chloe activity. That's right. I got 72 responses. <laughs> I've got invitations to go kayaking, mountain biking, rock climbing. Do you know how to do any of those things? Not a one. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey. I got a message from my ex-husband. Read it. I'm too nervous. Okay, let's see. Dear Rudolph. Rudolph? What? I had to think of a gay name. What is gayer than a flying reindeer? <laughs> Thank you for your note. It made my day. I feel like I found someone really special. Someone almost too good to be true. He thinks I'm too good to be true? Actually, he thinks Rudolph is too good to be true, which is accurate. <gasps> I just got an email from a surgeon. He's Christian, and his hobbies are playing polo and finding homes for stray puppies. Loser. <laughs> and he wants to meet me for breakfast activities. Ah! It's just like Audrey Hepburn. But you don't even know this guy. I mean, for all you know, he could be lying about who he is. Well, why would you automatically assume he's lying? I don't know, Rudolph, Super Chloe, any thoughts on this? <laughs> well, forgive me, but I believe in romance, and I'm going to meet him. I've got a date, too. I'm going bungee jumping. <laughs> bungee jumping? Yeah, all the other invitations required me to be athletic in some way. I figure the only skill I need with bungee jumping is the ability to fall off a bridge. You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 It's like you read my mind. Blah. Oh, Sellers, how long would it take you to get me over a fear of heights? Well, with some intensive therapy, we could probably see some improvement in six to eight months. What about by three o'clock tomorrow? What are you doing where you're afraid of heights? Bungee jumping. Oh, God, did you see that guy on the news last night? He hit the rocks and exploded like a water balloon. <laughs> All that came up was an ankle. Then a seagull attacked the ankle. <laughs> you gotta get high def, it's worth the money. Ah, uh, you are so romantic. Jeffrey and I spent the whole night in instant messaging. Just like old times. 
Well, except he's much more into my chest now that he's buff and hairy. <laughs> that is, without a doubt, the most twisted thing I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. And the cyber sex was fantastic. <laughs> okay, now that is. Hi. Emerson. You look beautiful, just like Audrey Hepburn. Thanks. Mm, so how was your breakfast at Tiffany's? Oh, well, he didn't show. <gasps> the cyber bastard. Well, I'm sure he just got stuck at the hospital. I mean, you have to expect this sort of thing when you're dating a successful surgeon. Oh, you're not dating anyone. You've never met him. For all you know, he could be a busty Latina with too much time on her hands. <laughs> no, 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 it's not me. I'm a one-man man. <laughs> so you're into whitewater rafting and competitive dog sledding? Yeah, I find the combination of the two especially exhilarating, if you don't mind the smell of wet dog. <laughs> wow. I have never met a woman who's into so many diverse things. Well, you haven't met me. <laughs> Okay, we're all set. Just need to know how much you weigh. I'm sorry, what? Your weight. Well, the, you know, a lady never tells. <laughs> it's actually crucial. It's how we decide what bungee to give you. Your profile says you weigh 108, 105 on a good day. Am I right? <laughs> Look at you. You really studied that thing, didn't you? Okay, so you're under 110 pounds then? Yep. Yep. <laughs> featured profile anymore it's some new girl wait why did they choose her i am way cuter than she is i mean yay i'm not the featured profile girl oh i got an email from my surgeon boyfriend yep he missed our date because he stopped to buy me flowers and foiled an armed robbery that was in progress wow does that story have a leprechaun too <laughs> Yeah, look, he wants to meet me tonight at the Duck Pond in Central Park. He says he has a surprise for me. Huh. Emerson, why don't you save everyone some time and go straight to the morgue? <laughs> well, what's that supposed to mean? Emerson, young women don't meet strange men in Central Park at night. It's basic common sense. Right up there with don't put a knife in a toaster and don't flirt with your gay ex-husband. I heard that. I'm talking to you. I get it. Oh my God, Jeffrey wants to take me to dinner. I, I mean, he wants to take Rudolph to dinner. I, you know what I mean. Nobody knows what you mean. <laughs> Maybe when I show up at the restaurant and he sees that I'm Rudolph, he realizes that we belong together. He thinks he's having dinner with a gay man. You are so not a gay man. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe I am a gay man trapped in this woman's body. Well, I think you picked a hell of a body. <laughs> oh, God. I look down. Big mistake. Okay. What the hell am I even doing here? I was an idiot for thinking I could even possibly do this. You excited? Stoked. Stoked? Who am I? I'm gonna go get my camera. Extreme! Oh my god, the seagulls are circling. Question, um, if you have the wrong chord, does it really make that much of a difference? Depends on how you feel about plunging to your death. Don't worry, we always add 10 pounds no matter what a woman tells us. That's incredibly sexist and insulting. Just, just ten? I'm amped! Uh, <laughs> Ready? Y here's, uh, here's the thing, Chaz. God, he's so cute. And he loves Super Chloe. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Let's jump this, Bubby! Hey. I love you, Chaz! Why did I just tell him I loved him? Too soon! Yeah! 
Yeah, I love you on the first date. Never a good idea. <laughs> By the time I bounced back up, he was gone. <laughs> Anyways, I can't believe that you were brave enough to jump. Well, halfway down, I lost all fear. Unfortunately, I also lost control of my bladder. <laughs> so you went on a pee-pee date after all? <laughs> How was your day? Horrible. Jeffrey and I are fighting. I need you too tight for me. I'm very angry. We can't agree on a restaurant. What? That's him. What did he say? Uh, I said, uh, would you be willing to reconsider Silvio's? No. I've been to that restaurant too many times. Type. <laughs> How about sushi instead? I can't do sushi. I'm allergic to shellfish. One rash from one piece of bad shrimp and suddenly he's allergic. No, don't type! Silvio's is like an old friend. What better way to start a relationship with a new friend? Why not start a new relationship in a new restaurant? Type! <laughs> he's so frustrating. Always the same thing. The same restaurant, the same vacation, the same Halloween costume. I swear. You seem pretty determined to get your own way. Oh, so now he's trying to make me feel guilty. I used to fall for that, but not anymore. He's being stubborn. Type! <laughs> no, you're the one being stubborn. Ooh, he's using all capitals. It seems like he's yelling at you. <laughs> Don't you raise your capitals at me! A mí no me importa! Yo me voy de aquí me consigo otro hombre. Y no voy a esa cita loca. ¡Cancelo ya! Type! ¿Qué? Sorry. Tell him that he's the one that's been stubborn and, and that I want to cancel this date. Fine, consider it canceled. I guess we weren't meant for each other. By the way, I faked it last night. What? <laughs> he didn't fake it. Trust me. A man knows. <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> if I was right, I should have never written him. I don't know about that, Lola. I think it was a good idea. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you always thought that your marriage broke up because he was gay, right? Yes. It looks to me like your marriage broke up because you guys didn't get along. You're right. I mean, after our breakup, I thought, if only I were a gay man, all of my problems would be solved. Yeah, and now that you are a gay man, you realize it still doesn't work. <laughs> That's true. I mean, we had so many other problems. So, so it wasn't just the plumbing. It was the whole foundation. You feel good? Yes, I feel great. Cause it wasn't his fault. It wasn't my fault. You know, I think I'm ready to move on. Mm. You want to go celebrate? I'd love to. Where do you want to go? I heard Silvio's is good. <laughs> just give me a second, OK? OK, I'll meet you by the elevator. Dear Jeffrey, even though we're not suited for each other, I don't regret the time we spent together. I wish you all the luck in the world finding someone who'd love you the way you deserve to be loved. Sincerely, Rudolph, gay dentist. <laughs> got breath spray. God. Hi, Ava. Hi. He didn't show again. You must think I'm so stupid. Of course not. How'd you know I'd be here? Because it's ridiculous and romantic, and when I was your age, I would have been here too. Probably not wearing a tiara, but... <sighs> you want to get out of here? Sure. Weren't you scared coming here by yourself? I'm not alone. I brought backup. Can you hurry up already? Seriously. I think there's something in the bushes. Ava, you were right. I mean, what was I thinking? There's just no way a handsome doctor would come to a place like this. Oh, thanks. So kind of you Thank to say so. Thank you very so. much. Although, maybe he's just late Ever because... Since... stop. Things that seem too good to be true are. There's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There's no prince on a white horse. Emerson? Emerson?
person. Okay, but I'm pretty sure about the pot of gold. I can't believe you're here. I can't believe you're real. I can't believe you smoke. Sorry. And litter. So you broke up with him just because he smokes? I wanted Prince Charming, not Puff the Magic Dragon. But I'm not worried. I'll find another prince. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not going to find him on the internet. See, look at this guy. In five seconds, I know he has nice eyes, he's dressed well, and he carries himself with confidence. You'd never learn that online. Oh my god, he totally just smiled at you. Mm. Why didn't you smile back? Because I'm a happily married woman and I want everyone to know it. Mm. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> Another new, oh my god! Well, on the plus side, you look real good. Yeah, but it's not that you're yeah, there. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be great.